Hey there, this is Shweta. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about some amazing Canva features and tips and tricks that you might not be aware of. And if you're someone who really likes Canva uh, for your creative use, uh, I really like Canva for uh, my business and for some creative uses. So if you like the platform, you'll love this video. And if you do end up, uh, you know, uh, liking this video then don't forget to hit the share button like the video put in a comment and if you're not subscribed to this channel yet go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more such marketing uh, tutorials and reviews so let's get into it if you don't already know canva is one of my favorite marketing platforms and i've tried over 100 different platforms over the years when it comes to marketing tools and you know marketing tech but canva is one of my favorites so i'm really excited to be sharing these features with you today so the first feature i'm going to share with you is a website but it's not really like a regular website it's the bio link website which means that if you're using instagram or tiktok you definitely want to check it out but you could also use this as a link on your main website uh you know as a resources link or maybe you want to take people to your different social media channels you could definitely use this so and they have some amazing templates here so you don't even have to create anything from scratch you could just uh, use their their um, kind of their templates and i'll just increase the size of this okay not by this much but just to make sure uh, you can see again uh, like you can do in canva you can change the background you can edit the colors do different things and then what you want to do is you want to uh, add a link to all of these so just uh, select all and just add a link so you could then add a link to youtube i'm just going to add my channel link as an example you could add a link to your blog post or you could just click on these three dots and add a link so i'll just add a link to my website and so on and so forth so follow me you could add a link to your instagram or tiktok subscribe could be an e could a link could be a link uh to your youtube channel uh subscription or podcast you could also link link to your email newsletter tons of different things that you can do and then maybe you could add your uh image here so i could just add this here done right so really easy to create and then you can just hit on publish as a website and you could just use like a standard single page website so this is how it will turn out to be uh maybe you don't want this maybe you want a different style so maybe you could do a scrolling one and if you do that this is how it's going to be i think this is perfect so you can do that uh, and then you can this is going to be your link to this page so wherever you want to so for example if you want to link to this page on on your instagram bio you could just create a bitly link from this particular link and use that link on your bio and then you could also like change the name here so for instagram so that that name changes here like here you can see my latest video i just want it to say my instagram or something like that I think I'll have to open it again, but you get the point. So that's the first thing. I hope uh, you enjoyed this feature because I think it's amazing, especially like I said, if you're using Instagram and or TikTok. The second thing that I want to show you is uh, what a lot of people don't know. So I'm going to go open presentation here. And this could be, you know, if you're running online webinars, online recorded workshops, uh, your uh, recording a presentation for work or for anything you could create your pe presentation here so let's say you've created your presentation and this is your presentation right here 
what you could do is click on present no actually click on the three dots and click on present and record you could actually record your entire presentation using canva itself which is crazy because you can then download that recording or you can save that recording and you can share it with whoever you want to you know as a file or even as a link so i'm just going to go to recording studio and see it's showing me my camera and my um, microphone so of course you can choose what you want you can start recording you can add notes here uh, and then it says here that it's recording this screen only which means this is all that's getting recorded and then you can end the recording and you can download the recording you can save it or you can discard it so this is another amazing feature which i think a lot of people don't know about or they don't use so let's say i just want this link so anyone can anyone with this link can view this recording so let's say i copy this link and i paste this link right here and it will open up my presentation recording, which is amazing. So if you want to, you know, share this recording with someone, uh, either through your email newsletter or maybe on your website, Instagram, whatever it is, this is such an easy way to record your presentation and share it workshop webinar whatever it is right so that's an amazing feature of canva uh, i hope you like this feature let me know in the comments if you were aware of this amazing canva feature okay the next thing i want to show you is the content planner i already have a video on it but again you know i think not a lot of people know or use this feature so i just wanted to show you so you can actually use canva to uh, create and schedule your social media posts. Of course, you'll have to connect your social media platforms with, uh, you know, with Canva. But once you've done that, you can easily schedule posts for LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, right? So let's say I wanted to schedule a post for the 14th. I could just hit that plus icon and I could choose a post that I've already created or I could choose from templates or, you know, I could first create uh, my Instagram temp, uh, post, whatever I want to share on Instagram, and then come here inside the content planner and choose choose that image. So let's say I wanted to post this. You could choose that image. Uh, it'll tell you what size it is. So this is an Instagram post. So I want to post this on Instagram. I don't have Instagram connected here. Let's click on select a channel. So uh, let's say Instagram business. Uh, so again, I don't want to get into this connecting part, but you'll connect to Instagram via Facebook. And again, you could connect your Canva account to any of these profiles so that you can schedule posts on, on those profiles. For now, I'll just select my Facebook group and I'll just select one page. Uh, and then I'll just write welcome to the group or whatever and then I'll just schedule this post my yeah my Facebook account is also I guess not connected so I'll let just select a Facebook group yeah Facebook is not connected I'll just go ahead and connect Facebook really quick uh, and I have to log in. I don't want to do this now, but you get the point, right? So you can totally use this platform to connect your channels and then schedule. So if I chose Twitter, I could just schedule the post on my Twitter account. You just have to hit schedule post. That's it. So this is another great feature, which again, I think not a lot of people know about or use. It's actually really use, easy to use. So if you're someone who, you know, is into social media planning and you schedule posts, this is a great way to build up your schedule. The next thing that I want to share with you, which again, a lot of people don't know about is Canva actually has a design school. They have tons of courses. Uh, when you click on learn, you'll be able to go to the design school. So they have Canva for beginners. They have courses on social media, personal branding, presentations. Um, they have tutorials, uh, 
you know, and tons of different things. So again, branding with Canva, presenting with Canva. So this is something that you could definitely check out if you're, you know, interested in learning design or social media or anything to do with Canva. So definitely check out, uh, check this out under their learn tab. The next feature is, uh, one that's again amazing but not a lot of people use it and for that i will have to create a design so what i'm going to do is uh, go on create a design and just choose instagram post and i'm just going to choose an image from uploads uh, so that i can show you this feature So I'm just going to choose uh, my logo from here, choose this. Okay, so I'm going to, the, the thing that I'm going to show you right now is called smart mockups. So let's say uh, you want to create a mockup for either your sales page, landing page, for your website, for signups, whatever it is, you could uh, choose your design and then click on it. When you click on edit image, there is an option called smart mockups. Uh, you can just click on see all and you can choose the different mockups uh, or, you know, any mockup that you want to use a laptop, a phone or a combination. It's an amazing feature because I just have to choose one of the smart mockups and this logo will automatically appear in that mockup. I don't have to like, you know, realign it or anything of that sort. So this is just taking a second to upload. Let's just give it a second. Okay, so see there are different mockups that you can use. Uh, let's say I wanted to use this one. So if I choose this, uh, my logo will automatically appear inside that phone. So it creates a mock-up automatically. Of course, this is not the best because I have a logo that's horizontal and this is a vertical screen. So I'm just going to use this instead. And then within that, you have multiple. I think this is nice. So I'll use this. And since it's my logo with a... It's like a transparent background. That's why it's showing up black. Uh, maybe I could just use a different image. I mean, you get the point. You could do this with anything. Let's say I just use this and I click on edit image and choose smart mockups. So when you're using smart mockups just for your logo, make sure that it's not a transparent background, but a white background. So I'm just going to choose this. So you'll see the image appears in kind of the mock-up. Like so. So you get the point, right? So this is, again, another great thing that you could use if you're creating mock-ups for your website, sales pages, or landing pages. The next feature that I want to talk about is this. Uh, this button is right here, but again, not a lot of people use it. Let's say you're working with a client or you are uh, working with a virtual assistant and you're creating something inside of Canva, whether that's a webinar, a workshop or presentation, you could use this recording feature to actually, you know, uh, record your screen. And record yourself so that you know then you can share this with your client or virtual assistant and basically give them instructions to what uh you know what is missing or stuff like that so let's say i was creating this presentation i came across the slide and my virtual assistant has helped me create it and i think you know that could be done better. I could just click here, record myself, send that recording to my virtual assistant 
so that you know my work becomes more optimized and efficient and i'm not going back and forth between oh you know going through the presentation and then recording or even writing down some notes so that's again a great feature the one of the last features that i want to share with you is uh printing so i don't know if you knew but you can actually print stuff right from canva so let's say i have a new brand i have my logo here i could click on these three dots and be like hey i really would like you know a mug for my brand so i could get a mug printed with my business logo on it you could you know maybe edit it a little bit so let's say i wanted this printed on a mug you could just design it and then you could say you want it on both sides or one side and so let's copy this here and then you could just order mugs from here and you can do the same thing with uh, t-shirts banners cards posters gift certificates letterheads postcards tons of different things right tags um, so again printing is another thing where you could just create your design and order directly from canva so i hope these features really helped you and gave you more insight into the canva platform if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments that you like this video and also tell me about one canva feature that you love so that's it for this video uh, again hit that like button hit that subscribe button thank you so much for being here i really appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye